Good morning. It is October 31st. Happy Halloween. Just here with the cow dog and Midnight, our black cat, walking down to the lower meadow. Well, just going to check on the cows. We're down in the uh, last lane, lane number 12. October 31st, put the cow dog back. Uh, we got um, quite a bit of rain last night. It's going to be interesting to see how the uh, grass performs. We'll see if the cows follow me um, this morning. If they do follow, I may open up more, but I uh, would like to come back and do that later. Got to move the mineral feeder into a new location as well. The cows are pretty spread out um, down here in lane number 12. Goggles has her head down. Morris is wandering. JB and Ginger. Sorry, that's Ginger wandering. JB and Morris are together. And then there's Millie. I'm going to head back toward the water, see if they follow. And if they do, I will probably... Um, I may just leave them down here, leave them with access to this, and uh, and then come back later and move them into the next pasture. You can kind of see as I pan, still got an area of broom sedge that runs north to south. Got an area where I mowed. And then another area of broom sedge, another area that I mowed. Um, my hope is to get back tomorrow before it rains again and try to knock some more of that broom sedge down. Thanks for tuning in. Well, it's the evening of October 31st. Cows are balling a little bit down here. Um, they're, they were trying to get back into lane number 12, but I cut it off. They must be out of uh, good grass, so I'm gonna take them down to the other end of this lane. Hopefully they well they're all following, so I don't know if that's J B or or Morris chirping. Haven't had them anxious for a while. But what I gave them here is quite narrow. And, uh, yeah, may give them a little bit more tonight. So, good start to the move to the southern side of the field and, and lane number one. Well, Millie is giving uh, Goggles a bit of a hard time. And here she goes. J 
JB's heading to the far end with Morris. I'm here at the far end of the escape lane. Just want to give you a quick look at the uh, all the orchard grass that's popping. Uh, they're all head down in the one paddock right before this. Um, but as I turn around that uh, area that I mowed in lane one has so much grass. The end of the escape lane does as well. A lot of fescue and orchard grass. So um, they should be pretty happy for tonight anyway. May need to give them a little bit wider. Normally I have a um, have the uh, lane, well the paddock or the lanes that I build are twice as wide as this escape lane is right now. So that may be wider nudging each other a little bit. What I might do is start bumping out the uh, the escape lane. So there's Morris. Here's some coyotes in the background tonight. It is November 1st. This is Grand Man at Manus Meadows. Cows are all hanging out here in the uh, escape lane at this uh, end of lane number 12. I've got some work to do to move that mineral feeder probably tomorrow, but uh, everybody's looking good. I'm going to give them more um, more of the escape lane now. I'm sure they're going to follow me down. Uh, it's a little bit windy, a little cooler. So really hoping that uh, the grass will pop here over the next week or two before uh, the weather really turns. We've got an, uh, another handful of days of rain coming tomorrow and for the next few days, according to the forecast anyway. Um, looks like they're coming. Going to show you where we're going. There's uh, quite a bit of grass. You can kind of see what they they did in this whole lane. They had a lot. I'm going to open this next section up. I don't know if I should give them more. The tree above me full of blackbirds. Yeah, here they come. As usual, Goggles has led the 
the herd will give her first mover advantage. Um, she goes. Here comes. Uh, oh, Millie walked over the line. That's rare. Sorry, JB. <clears throat> huh. That's the first. Well, there they are. I'll dig it in. Give them a minute here, and I may open up that next next paddock just standing here in the uh not quite the middle of our bottom meadow um i mowed a really short patch here through that broom sedge um you can see kind of where the broom sedge was where it wasn't based on the green grass and you can see looking north this is an area I mowed the broom sedge. You can see where it was thicker and thinner. We'll see what it looks like in a week or so. It's going to be an interesting experiment. They did a good job on this paddock. This paddock, uh, they cleaned this up in no time. I'm going to give them the rest of this emergency lane. There's JB looking good. Everybody's not paying too much attention. Except goggles. He's ready to make a move. Um, see if they all jump up. Thanks for the fertilizer. Everybody's up. Come on, JD. Morris. That's going to be it for today. Um, November 1st, it's a beautiful day. I've got uh, lane one in. I just, sorry, I've got the post for lane one. I just need the poly wire. I'll do that tomorrow before I move them. Thanks for watching. That's the end for today. Thanks for watching. We'll continue to share our journey at Grand Man Ranch.